In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, as we prepare to celebrate the secret mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You are the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You call us by your name. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that defended by, by defend, uh, so that defended from all weakness, we the resurrection. By the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lycaonian cities of Lystra and Derby and to the surrounding countryside where they continue to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up! straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw that Paul had done, they, crowd, they cried out in like an onion, the gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas, Zeus, and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker and the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance of the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates. For he together with the people intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. Generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven 
and fruitful seasons and fill you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrain the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven, wherever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. <clears throat> the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love, my, does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. In the final hours, The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Brethren, as we continue celebrating this season of Easter, uh, we go back uh, to, to the story of the Passion, a little bit previous to the Passion, in the sense that the Gospel of today is referred to the final hours of Jesus previous to his sentence, uh, that sentence. So, the questions asked by the disciples, especially Judas, this is not the Iscariot, but the other Judas, and this instance of Jesus before uh, his disciples, is quite uh, very intimate in the questions they ask, but at the same ta time, out of curiosity. In the first reading, we read and heard how Paul and Barnabas were about to be proclaimed gods compared to Zeus and Hermes, and how Rightfully, Paul was actually, uh, along with uh, the rest of the disciples, scandalized, ripping their garments, and announcing who the only one is, revealed in Christ. And the revelation uh, in the Gospel, to have hand in hand the first reading on the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of John, will help us to understand that uh, Paul is trusting, even though he was threatened by uh, people around him to stone him to death. And the question is, what is the strength that this disciple who was the, who was the persecutor of the early church is now about to take on the suffering that many already suffer because they proclaim Christ. <clears throat> so, how can Paul trust in the peace of Christ when he's nearly stoned to death? Now, the question for us could be, how can we trust in the peace of Christ when we see violence in the world, when we see discouragement because the situation that we are living with the virus, how we can see peace in our community when people want to demonstrate, demonstrate in front of churches because they, they the governor or the bishop don't open the churches. Anyways, how we are trusting in the peace of the Lord? And what is this peace of Christ and where do we find it? Well, the community of believers from, early, from the early church is giving us an example. A, Coming back to Acts of the Apostles, Paul's near-death experience, he and Barnabas continued their missionary work. They didn't stop. So whoever wants want, uh, to prevent us from doing our job is not only gathering, gathering us as a community, it's a, it's a very important part, but how we are following Christ in our daily lives. So, the friendship of Paul and Barnabas, teamwork, is very important here. Teamwork is present in the gospel as well. Uh, how the apostles uh, divide their work and how they were able to bring the, new, the good news around Asia Minor and beyond. 
So, the gospel then uh, is a reminiscence of our own relationship with Christ. Uh, Jesus' Jesus's final message in the gospel today, to the apostles, is to love one another as he has loved them. So peace and love. It's not the peace and love, you know, with the hippie movement. It's not that. It's real peace and real love. They are no longer servants, but friends. So friendship, teamwork, I already said that, and a sense of a community, but a sense of the community when we are together and when we are a uh, distance, distant, like we are right now. So we don't lose that sense of community by being distant. So we too, as the community of believers, are friends of Christ and of one another. Through our friendship in community, we live out the peace of Christ. Before we gather around the table to break bread together, we turn to one another and offer, uh, as, we also, as we usually did, to offer the sign of peace. Now again, even though we are, dis we are distant, we can actually say when we call somebody from the distance, the peace be with you. So keeping alive our sense of welcoming and bringing the peace of Christ. So as we continue living the gospel, we want the Lord to enter into our lives and always, always looking for the advocate, the paraclete, whom the Father will send. And that's the promise of Christ, and we believe in that. We bring our needs before our Almighty God with confidence that our prayers will be heard and answered, that our church leaders may be conformed by Christ evermore into his image in their preaching of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That leaders of nations and peoples may be guided by the generous and compassionate hand of God. In all they do, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all who are living without religious freedom may be filled with courage through the grace of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those in this faith community may be drawn closer to the Lord in his fullness through the grace of the sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And we pray, we continue praying for all the mothers, uh, for the uh, novena that we are offering. So as uh, yesterday we celebrate uh, Mother's Day, we continue praying for mothers. And by the way, happy Mother's Day. And we pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
and that those who have died may know the glory of God and rest in eternal peace at his side. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the special petitions you hold in the silence of your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Generous and merciful God, we ask that you listen to the prayers we have placed before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Root of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Root of the vine and work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, Lord, may the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May your prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lead them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, show himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gerald and Alberto our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Peter and St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins or on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the prayer of for spiritual communion together we pray my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with the Spirit, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a good week.